Marine monitor systems have been deployed across the world's oceans to provide affordable and accessible technology for managing human activity in marine areas. Specifically designed to help fill existing gaps in both knowledge and access to resources, M2 has been a successful solution proven in the field since 2015. Global Conservation combines the, the radar system with patrol support, uh, smart technology, which is um, keeping track of all the patrols, allowing better planning, incident reporting, um, and really uh, giving the managers of an MPA uh, a set of systems and tools that they can use to do better protection uh, and be more cost effective. A lot of uh, marine protection is just hours and hours and days of, of driving boats and that is not a way to protect uh, MPA. It wastes gas, it wastes uh, maintenance on boats and um, really what you want to do is do targeted interdictions based on uh, either uh, volunteer reports from the community, uh, from NGOs uh, with binoculars, or sophisticated tools like uh, marine radar and the protected sea software which creates a virtual fence around the MPA. You see all traffic coming in and out and they use uh, uh, artificial intelligence to, to manage the data so that it, only the most important alerts, i.e. an illegal uh, uh, fishing is happening inside the MPA. And that is a very powerful system and very easy to use for MPA managers. Global Conservation is supporting the deployment of these marine radar systems around the world. Our goal is to protect hundreds of marine protected areas over the next decade with marine monitor radar systems as essential components of global park defense. To date, Marine Monitor has been deployed in over 20 locations in seven countries and has been deployed in a variety of different applications. Uh, we've deployed systems on remote islands here in California, as well as in places like Palau, Ecuador, and American Samoa. We've also deployed systems in heavily populated areas. To meet global conservation goals, it is essential that regulations put into place to protect and preserve marine ecosystems are enforced. M2 is a tool that can support existing enforcement by monitoring compliance and highlighting activity of interest, ultimately providing additional eyes on the water. The locations that we're trying to monitor are often remote and hard to access. So as a result, we've had to create solutions to enable ourselves to be able to deploy our technology to remote, hard to reach places. So we developed the Mobile Marine Monitor, or M3, which is a trailerized portable system that incorporates an off-grid power system with a telescoping mast that houses our radar antenna and camera. These systems are transportable anywhere in the world and are currently active in four countries with more to come in the future. Okay, we work right now in about eight States, um, in the whole Northwest, but the radars of the MC system are placed right now in Baja California Sur, in Loreto, and in Cabo Pulmo, which has, are like very touristic places to meet. So we are, we are very few rangers, so this helps us to identify ships in, uh, without being there physically. And everyone that has like the internet can be like watching what's going on. In Cabo Pulmo, they cannot do anything but tourism they cannot do any kind of fishing. So we know if, if it's in the middle of the night, it's not gonna be tourism because they are not allowed to. My name is Junior Tamon and uh, I am uh, we're a Long State Division of Conservation and Law Enforcement Coordinator. 
Uh, our along is uh, 197 uh, square kilometers marine area and uh, about 42 square kilometers of it is uh, protected areas. The main threats we face today as uh, enforcement officers for uh, our along the CLE is uh, mainly poachers as well as uh, effects of climate change. With a partnership of One Reef, we uh, had a, an M2 uh, radar and um, it's a very good tool to use. In December of 2020, Fish and Wildlife Officers patrolling Swami State Marine Conservation Area approached the commercial passenger fishing vessel Electra. The passengers were observed to be illegally fishing inside the MPA. The Electra's owner was cited, prosecuted, and successfully convicted. The case was solidified with further documentation of the vessel's presence in the MPA via the shore-based radar marine monitor vessel tracking system. In dealing with the Electra case, my partner was fairly small, being um, the on-duty supervisor the day that Fish and Wildlife made their bus and issued their citations. I was able to access all the footage and tracking data from the M2 radar, and I was able to provide photos of Fish and Wildlife actually interacting with the Electra vessel in the MPA. That mixed in with the GPS coordinates of everything that M2 provides them, they were able to use that as evidence in their case against the Electra. There's hundreds of marine protected areas being established uh, by different organizations and governments, but very little resources or technology uh, or organizational uh, capacity uh, given to these uh, marine protected areas to actually protect them. Technology is becoming a key component of monitoring the ocean, and it is important that the scale is appropriate for managers to use effectively. At the local level, M2 provides an affordable tool without compromising available benefits from existing and new technologies. So M2 will adapt and incorporate new technological developments as the fleet of M2 systems continues to grow worldwide. With vital ocean protections in place and expanding, we aim to make conservation technology more accessible and equitable. The big problem is uh, is that we don't have any fish left and the sharks are all being killed the manta rays and the rays are all being taken uh, uh, we're setting up MPAs and there's no fish in the MPAs so these are being wiped out the entire Caribbean is gone we there I haven't can't find a place other than Cuba where we can actually protect any intact marine ecosystems so what we're really looking to do is is find the best uh, marine protected area managers the best uh, places that can take, uh, uh, can do the monitoring, surveillance, and patrolling now. Most of the MPAs are empty, there's no boats, there's no rangers, and it's just on paper. It's called a paper park. And we want to change that situation and get real active patrolling based on uh, real information from good technology like a marine monitor, uh, protected seas, and communities taking care of their own places. So. Um, I think that's our, our vision is, is really to get this ramped up to hundreds of endangered marine protected areas in the next 10 years and we hope that uh, you'll join us.